If your former employee, someone who recently quit or maybe someone who you recently terminated, if that person started sending you nasty emails, criticizing you, name calling, telling you how bad of an employer you are or how bad your company is or maybe even threatening you with claims and lawsuits, the last thing you want to do is to engage with that person and to start insulting him or her back. There is no benefit in this type of dialogue for you. By insulting your ex-employee back, the only thing that you can possibly accomplish is to make him angrier and to increase the chances of him actually running to court or to any other agency and file some, some type of claim or a lawsuit against you, or at the very least to start talking to lawyers to see if he can make any type of claim. The two things that you should consider doing when you receive nasty emails from your former employees are either ignoring those emails altogether if they're simply full of mean language and insults or talk to an attorney about those emails if there are threats of claims and lawsuits because you want to assess earlier than later whether these threats have a merit and whether a legitimate claim can be made against you. Under no circumstances you should be throwing insults back at the employee or resort to the same name calling. This cannot possibly help you, but it can hurt you if a claim is filed, even if the other person, even if your former employee is equally mean or more mean. You never want to have a paper trail of your words suggesting that you're a bad person, that you're a mean person. The best thing you can do is to have a mean dialogue going one way toward you without you responding in the same way and lowering your communication to the same level. So, there are two options for you when it comes to responding to mean nasty messages from your former employees. Either ignore or talk to an attorney about those messages so that you together can decide how to best handle them. Thank you.